Extensively clean the bell housing to remove all old clutch dust and oil. Carefully mark the centre of the casting on the bell housing where the new slave will mount. Use an 8.5mm drill and carefully drill the first hole for the slave. Ensure that the hole is square to the casting surface. Use an M10 by 1.5 tap to create a thread in the hole. Mount the slave on the casting with this one bolt hole and align the slave to the centre of the fork window. Mark drill and tap the other mounting hole based on the slave alignment. Ensure that the old gear oil is removed from the transmission. Remove the front cover of the transmission by undoing all the bolts. Clean the mounting surface on the transmission of any contaminants and any old gasket. Use an aviation gasket sealant with the new gasket and mount the new front cover in place, torquing the bolts up evenly. Lubricate the pivot points on the new clutch fork and the new pivot ball. Also lubricate the nose cone before installing the new bearing carrier, clutch fork and clutch fork boot. With the new clutch mounted on the vehicle and the transmission carefully guided in place, install the new slave cylinder on the bell housing. Ensure to refill the transmission with fresh gear oil before starting the engine.